trigger warning for people who are Notion fanboys that don't like it when I rip Notion a new one. What? All right, Notion, we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk leading into this new year. I'm recording this a little bit before the year starts, so if any of this isn't true anymore, thank you for hearing me. But I don't get this about Notion. I've been a Notion fanboy for a long time. I'm doing a series right now where I'm going to build out the Notion app system, which I think is my best template I've ever built and can really help you have a database and structural way that you organize your Notion. However, needless to say, a lot of people would optimize themselves. Uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Needless to say, a lot of people would opt into the system more and be more open to it when I'm pitching clients on using Notion if there were a couple things in there, which in turn would give you more recurring revenue as a company. And I can tell you what, it wasn't making an AI. I don't. People aren't looking for this. The everyday company is not looking for an AI. The everyday company is looking for integrations, which is not your strong suit. Specifically with Google Calendar and Outlook. You bought a calendar app, by the way. And they're looking for things like recurring tasks and ease of use on the go with things like Quick Capture even on the desktop as well. Now I gotta say, you made some drastically huge improvements in 2022. I mean, you, you take a look at Notion in 2021 in 2019 when I started using it versus now, it is so much better, don't get me wrong. But the mobile app, still slow. Google Calendar, still can't be integrated. Recurring tasks, sort of are a thing. And these are the things that could get you more MRR and henceforth increase the speed at which you can grow your company or even just increase the effectiveness at which you can grow your company. If you're not focused on speed and being correct is what you want to do, I give you all the credit in the world for that. But I, I just got to say, you bought a calendar app and then all the speculation about Cron sort of being leveraged to have a Notion and Google Calendar integration is thrown out the window and the fact that you announced in March that we were going to have synced databases. There's this thing called Notion block by block. It's a keynote. Team spaces were cool. Thanks for adding that, but check this out. We have something here that looks to be a little connection between Notion and Google Calendar in a synced way. And I know for a fact that this is being screen recorded in real time, or I hope it is, because that's usually how Notion looks to populate and the fact that the cursor moved. So how has it been this many months, you bought a calendar app and we're still sitting here waiting, not to mention the fact that this is clearly being recorded in February based on the fact that it shows February 16th on the date. It's been almost a year. You teased this too early. I'm not gonna lie. What I don't get about you is you 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 hear the community, you show it in our face, and then you drop a AI writing tool before you, you say anything about this. This is what I don't get. Why just either A, over communicate, or B, extremely under communicate under promise and over deliver or make promises and give direct timelines and then be transparent about whether those things need to get pushed back. This whole like weird telling us, not telling us and being inconsistent with things. Honestly, if I could go back in time to my craft videos, if I forgot to mention this, I would point out one of the reasons that craft has a leg up on notion is because they're better at communicating things. The second something drops, there's an update post about it on the Notion releases. And even though that I am privy to more information just cause like I'm in the Notion ambassador community, I just would rather them like tell the public everything. You know what I mean? Because while I may be somebody who loves the app, talks about the app, raves about the app, I don't like knowing things before. Because even in our circumstance, they haven't given us a direct answer on the whole Google Calendar sync thing. And I'm just like, one, what's the point? of announcing it a year prior. If you're gonna buy a calendar app, which is gonna give us more of a thought that you're gonna do it, and then you're just not gonna talk about it for a year. I just don't, under promised over deliver would be my preference. And, and also the sync databases that you've given us have not been, you can't edit the Asana properties in the sync databases, right? So like respect to you for like making this sync database, okay? But all this does is show it, I can't, I can add properties. I can't, I can't. When I click on it, it literally just sends me to the Asana list. You've given us no information on the update and what you have shown us is to be frank, not good with the sync databases. It would have been better if you had just stayed silent on it or it would be better if you're over communicating how it's going. This in between thing is not making any of us happy. Once again, just to state, I have obviously had a lot of life profit, both monetarily and productivity wise, 
off of Notion. I appreciate it for what it is, but I'm going to be critical of it because this is the one thing that a lot of people would like and you've been dead silent on it for far too long. I just don't get it. But I do get a reason why maybe you'd want to check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.